Genesis chapter 1. The Beginning. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. On the first day, God created light. On the second, He created the sky. Dry land, seas and plants were created on the third day. On the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon and the stars. Water and sky animals were made on the fifth day, and on the sixth day, land animals and people were created. God created mankind in His own image, in the image of God He created them, male and female He created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. God saw all that He had made, and it was very good. Chapter 2. The Creation of Man and Forbidden Fruit. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it He rested from all the work of creating that He had done. The Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden and commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, for when you eat from it you will certainly die. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Chapter 3. The Fall of Man The serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals. He said to the woman, Did God really say, you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. The Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers, he will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the weight of the tree of life. Chapter 4. The Offerings of Cain and Abel. Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. But Abel brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Adam lay with his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth. Seth also had a son, and he named him Enosh. At that time men began to call on the name of the Lord. Chapter 5. From Adam to Noah. When Adam had lived 130 years, he had a son in his own likeness, in his own image, and he named him Seth. Enoch walked with God 300 years then he was no more, because God took him away. Enoch was the father of Methuselah. Methuselah was the father of Lamech, 
and Lamech was the father of Noah. He named him Noah and said, He will comfort us in the labor and painful toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord has cursed. Chapter 6. Flood Plans. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become, and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind, whom I have created, from the face of the earth. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked with God. So God said to Noah, Make yourself an ark to keep them alive with you. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Chapter 7. A Flood of Judgment. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Noah, his family and the living creatures enter the ark. And after the seven days, all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of the heavens were opened. And rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. Chapter 8. The End of the Flood but God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark. The rain had stopped falling from the sky and the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. By the first day of the first month of Noah's 601st year, the water had dried up from the earth. By the 27th day of the second month the earth was completely dry. So Noah came out of the ark and built an altar to the Lord and, Taking some of all the clean animals and clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. The Lord smelled the pleasing aroma. Chapter 9. The Rainbow Covenant. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. I establish my covenant with you, never again will all life be cut off by the waters of a flood, never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When Noah drank some of its wine, he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Ham saw his father's nakedness and told his two brothers. Noah said, Cursed be Canaan! The lowest of slaves will he be to his brothers. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem. May God extend the territory of Japheth. May Japheth live in the tents of Shem. Chapter 10. The Descendants of Noah. This is the account of Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Noah's sons. Chapter 11. The Tower of Babel. Come, let us build ourselves a city, with a tower that reaches to the heavens, so that we may make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. The Lord confused the language and scattered them over the face of the whole earth. That is why it was called Babel. Terah became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. 